Hello, welcome to the extra module nutrition and sport. My name is Pim Knuijman. I'm a human movement scientist and a PhD student in nutrition and training adaptation at Wageningen University. So here we have our test subject. Could you introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, I'm Rineke Keterink. I'm also a PhD student at Wageningen University and I study micronutrients. Uh, I'm an athlete and today I will be the test subject. Hi, my name is Bart Lagewaard and I'm a master student here at Wageningen University in molecular nutrition. And today in this little experiment here we will be comparing two diets on performance, on exercise performance. We will be comparing a high fat diet and a high carbohydrate diet. And these two macronutrients, of course you know, because they have been, been extensively discussed in our uh, Nutrition 101 course here on edX. This is Rineke, you, you've already met her, our test subject, uh, or actually our volunteer for this experiment. And she will be eating the two different diets, the high fat diet and the high carbohydrate diet for three days. And after each diet, we're performing an, an in, uh, experiment on this bicycle. It's a, a bicycle ergometer. The bicycle is connected to the computer and to an uh, oxygen sensor. And in a few moments, we'll strap her on to this oxygen mask and we will be measuring the inhaled and exhaled oxygen in the air. In order to determine the right intensity for the test days, we will conduct a maximal oxygen uptake test, better known as VO2 max. VO2 max stands for maximal oxygen consumption and is used as indicator for cardiopulmonary fitness. So we are doing this maximal aerobic test, her VO2 max test, because we use this value for the coming two tests. We'll be using 75% of her VO2 max for the test after the Pacific diets. And what we'll be doing now, we'll be gradually increasing the work rate on the bicycle by increasing the resistance. Um, the test will take quite long for Rineke because Rineke is very trained. So her VO2 max will also be higher compared to untrained subjects. Good job. So how are you how are you feeling after this uh, maximal test? Exhausted. Exhausted. Yeah. How do you feel the exhaustion? Is it it's so short and it's increasing so uh, intensively yeah. and very very quickly it goes up. So in a short period you make a lot of lactate. And yeah. It's exhausting. So where do, where do you feel the lactate? My legs. In your legs. Yeah. yeah. Are, are they, do they hurt? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you've done really well. You've Thank done you. really well. The next three days, uh, Rineke will be put on a high carbohydrate diet. So Rineke, uh, what do you understand by a high carbohydrate diet? Uh, I think it uh, is a lot of sandwiches, uh, pasta, fruit, rice, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. I think it's like that. Exactly, that's a high carbohydrate uh, diet. And uh, are you looking forward to follow it? Yeah, I like uh, those things, so I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you think a uh, high carbohydrate diet will influence the time till exhaustion test we will conduct after the diet? On our edX discussion forum, you can chat with your fellow students about our experiment. What are your hypotheses about the diets? But also, what are your experiences with nutrition, sports and exercise performance? C comment on our forum or use the social media with this hashtag. And uh, I hope to see you next time. 